Ah, what a lovely relaxing day here on the banks of the River Denial, home of our mighty, oh, soon to be mighty empire, with your good friend and everybody's favorite pharaoh, Jerry King, here doing what we do best in Generation Style series, and thinking at his thinking spot. Oh, I've missed you, thinking spot. It really does bring a tear to your eye. Now, what isn't good, something I never expected would have happened in a million years, is uh, what a lot of you correctly pointed out in the comment section, Jerry King fell in love with a robot. Jerry King fell in love with a robot, and this is supposed to be a dynasty series where Jerry King and many other families will develop and fight for the throne and, and have their own different leadership styles as Pharaoh. And Jerry fell in love with a robot. Now, I could, if I was so inclined, say the words robussy. And that is, un unfortunately, and very tragically a thing. But look, I think there's a more sensible option here. I thought it was only appropriate that we made some adjustments to the idea legend. Oh, thank you for that, Jerry. I thought it was only appropriate we made one or two adjustments to the Idea Legend, specifically two adjustments and specifically unlimited times. We are now allowed unlimited spouses for both men and the women in the colony. And that coupled with the rather fantastic Polygamy Beds mod that allows you to turn any bed into a polygamy bed so people would just basically pick a bed whenever they want to sleep and just go hang out with their with their pal. Hopefully that'll deal with a lot of the problems. And of course, they can choose to have unlimited spouses. They might only have one spouse. That's entirely them. This is all about freedom. Freedom, as long as that freedom is at the behest and ultimate will of the Pharaoh. First things first, then. Let's get some new recruits coming in, and by coming in, tragically, I mean that very literally, because, of course, we need some families to start popping up. And like I said, people age faster, because, of course, it's a generation-style playthrough, but the aging is slightly less than the original generation series. Uh, 36 and 13 days. I think it was 34 midway through yesterday's episode, and to be fair, we've played for quite a while. 25 days so far, about half a regular reward year, so it's, it's fast, but it's not unmanageably fast. We don't have to constantly be obsessed with making sure people are married off and things like that. Now, I briefly showed this yesterday, but I was a little bit fast about it. We've got romance attempts in courage, which means that they will try and get into those relationships a little bit more. And that's coupled with marriage proposal being arranged by the Pharaoh. Jerry will bless, of course, any lovers who want to get married, Jerry will allow it. But for the people who are being a little lazier about things, for people who are taking a little longer, Jerry can help encourage them along. So that's really our ultimate goal for today. Get some houses going. Get some families going, get some relationships built up, and, and really try and lay the foundations for a fantastic city. Our other goal is to build a ridiculous pyramid. <laughs> it's kind of the main goal, I'll be honest with you. I was, I was trying to, trying to, you know, cover it up with uh, with some sort of semblance of regular gameplay. Of course I'm going to build a ridiculous base. Do you know what channel this is? Ooh! Did they fall in love in prison? No, Jerry just fell in love with this other robot. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up, because Jerry built those robots, but then again, I mean, ancient Egypt didn't exactly shy away from family lovers, shall we say. Isn't that right, Cleopatra? Oh, this is weird. This is weird. Jerry's in love with the robots, but the robots don't love one another. Hang on. Jerry has magic pharaoh powers, or as far as they're concerned, magic pharaoh powers. They don't know about technology and silence and whatnot. We should get Jerry doing a lot more meditation then. I mean, we could have him working in a quarry, sure, but that's not really so useful for Jerry. If he hasn't got any research, he should just be meditating, I think. Meditation rate falls when you sleep, right? So I think it would make the most sense to get in as much meditation as possible early in the morning, and then work, and then wake up and do it again, so we've got the most stored up to be able to use a power. Does that make sense? It didn't sound like it made sense. How about maybe instead of building a pyramid, we build a temple? That would make a lot more sense. And then after he's actually got some followers, some worshippers, maybe then they would want to build the pyramid for him. He convinces them it's a good idea rather than an egregious waste of resources. Primitive storage could be really good. Meat rack, stone pots, that could be fantastic. Legionary armaments, some early weaponry, or bionics? Oh, I shouldn't reload. No. Beer. We need as much beer as we can get. Fishing and beer is going to be how this entire economy runs. Got a blessing from Arcadius, and Jerry would have almost certainly heard of Arcadius, given that Arcadius was an enemy of the Empire. Jerry came from the Empire, right? One of the big seven wanted criminals. Not only that, made, uh, made a real name for himself for being a bit of a fertility god of his own regard. We got a little bit of silver, that's fantastic. Oh, is that marble? We have to build something out of that. We have to make some sort of statue or pillar. You could just etch it where it stands. Turn it into some, some sea monolith from the sky. That would be cool. Let's cut this side down to make it symmetrical and let's just etch the thing. You've only got sandstone and limestone on this map, so a giant marble pillar in the ocean is gonna be something like they've never seen before. Ooh, Jerry, nice work. A vela has been converted over to see the light of Pharaoh Jerry himself. Two in a row. What a legendary guy. So conversion speed and things like that are a little higher because of course they age 
10 times faster. So it would be kind of difficult to get as many recruits at the normal speed. Or at least you wouldn't get them for that long. What the hell kind of a flex is that? Riding into town on the back of a giant dinosaur. A greenhouse trader. Okay, we can have a look. Now, bear in mind, we still need to get a lot of plants research because there are just so many things you can't sow without the correct research for it. So a lot of these, even though they sound good, like teak seeds would be great if we could get some wood, we can't do anything with it until we actually get the research. So I'm going to sell you um, delicious lion meat, maybe some wheat seeds as well. And let's see if we can just trade that for some wood directly. Oh, maybe don't even sell anything and just buy all their wood. Look, Arcadius gave us that silver for a reason, so I've used it to buy exclusively wood. Because there's so much stuff we can't craft without it. So let's throw down that tanning rack so we can finally build Jerry the lion skin bed that he deserves. We can make a cleaning bench. We can make a regular workbench now. We can make a slightly better cooking table too, can't we? Wood and granite. Oh, Jerry, be careful with that plasma sword. Oh, it's a plasma sword because it's fiery, you know, like the sun god that they worship here. Oh, sweet precious Jerry, look at all of these options we have now. Um, well, look, we converted, uh, Avila, right? So why don't we just hit with the word of trust and break down her resistance? But hang on. Jerry's very illegal level 7 silent is possible. Make this person truly happy. They will not care about bad things happening, for now they appreciate the beauty of the world. Jerry can brainwash himself. I mean, that sounds incredible. I, he is quite upset. Okay, you know what? Do it. What happens? What happens, little Jerry? Boom. True happiness for six days. 20% consciousness, and I presume plus 40. Oh, I'm a big fan of that. And to be honest, given the amount of things people were telling me on Discord about the pharaohs making themselves happy, into the river, in fact, maybe this isn't too far from reality. And no, for the few thousand people who sent me that, Jerry will not be making himself happy into a river. But I am aware that exists. Please stop sending it to me. I don't care what the pharaohs did to the river. That's their business. There's another one. Jerry, you legend. Albina. I love all the trade caravans turning up with, you know, camels that are fairly sensible in the desert. And then giant weird dinosaurs. <gasps> Avila. Welcome, my friend. This is a momentous occasion. Jerry's first true follower. Of course, the robots know Jerry's not a pharaoh. They know he's just a dude from the empire. But Avila... She looked out the window, she saw all sorts of light shows, she's seen psychic powers coming out of Jerry. She probably thinks he's a god pharaoh. Oh, Avila, what the hell are you wearing? Well, that's a hell of a look, isn't it? What are you good at? Melee mining construction. So we can take the pickaxe off of Tetmate that I gave... Look, I gave him that very temporarily. It's not befitting of a royal guard to be using a pickaxe, but we didn't really have a choice. She can take the steel pickaxe. Tetmate can get his Kopesh back and go back to real royal guard duties. And then I go as far to take him off of mining, I suppose. Or off of quarrying at this point. Another conversion, and more importantly than anything else we could have possibly done today, beer. Well done, Jerry. Well, I did say I needed plants, but mushroom cultivation wasn't exactly what I was thinking. Sure, it'll do. Why not? So one of my favorite things we did in the Generation series, and one of my favorite ways to design a remote base ever, is to let it just develop naturally. Build as many houses as you need for people, don't build too many, and just grow out from wherever the sensible center of your colony is. That's how regular towns develop, after all. And then when we get a bit more advanced, when we have a pharaoh's residence, maybe on the other side of the uh, the water, when we have a temple and everything else, then you can start retrofitting old parts of the city and upgrading them, just like we did in the Ohm series. So at this point, out of all the prisoners, Wendy is the only one to have not converted over. Everybody else is converted and ready to be recruited, and hopefully it won't be too long either. Oh, uh, what now wanders in? A... A dare. A dare. A da? I would dare. Oh, it's quite clearly a deer bear. Now, look, you would make fantastic cavalry, but unfortunately, we've got a bigger problem. We're out of food. This might be a mistake. It'll only be a mistake we make once, though, to be fair. <laughs> Run, Braytech. The bridge is almost done. It's one block away from connecting the shores. What a monumental day. Oh, you actually got it. Holy shit. Uh, finish it off. Goodbye, dare. Thank you. And with this... Tank Marte has connected the North Shore to the South Shore. Not only that, today was the day Jerry got his first follower. So I think it makes perfect sense that we would mark down the 1st of September as Jerry's day. Uh, not like that, we won't. The day where Pharaoh Jerry proved his conquest of both mind and landscape. There's probably a cooler way you could phrase that, but... <laughs> Makes it sound like he just did his garden or something. I mean, we really should enable some of these other days, right? So, settlement on the planet. We've got the day of Gemphis, when, when it was first ever founded. When these three people crashed on the 1st of April, May. Let's enable that one. That should be an all-day celebration. Chronological birthdays. 
Uh, of course, we turn on Jerry's birthday. That should be uh, an unexpected thing to do as well. We will have an evening celebration for Jerry's birthday. Relationship anniversaries. Uh, when Jerry fell in love with his robots. Given that he's the first character. Given that he's the pharaoh. I'll allow it. We'll say a noon celebration for that. And then marriage anniversaries we of course don't have any yet. That's fantastic. That's so good. Jerry's day can be an evening celebration. Because I don't think it's quite as important. If we celebrate every bloody bridge built and every prisoner being recruited, we would we would be non-stop celebrating. Which, to be fair, wouldn't be that bad. I think these prisoners are going to be eating well tonight. What do we get from a dare, then? It did say something about its horns. Dare antlers. There we are. A dare's antler is a heavy rock hard and priceless in most markets. Fantastic. So now when those trade caravans turn up, instead of just standing there mocking me with all of their goods, we can actually try and sell them something now. Research. Centurion armor. Fantastic. Passive coolers would be so, so good. Um, I don't think I can take anything but plant sewing, right? Basic autopsy carvings. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Um, well, look, we don't need the autopsy until a pharaoh dies so that we can take their organs and put them in canopic jars. And, of course, put their body in the pyramid. I guess in that case, we'll take the carvings. I'm not going to count Jerry out quite yet. Ooh, and the party for Jerry's day is being held right now. We're going to celebrate the, the the bridge being finished. Jerry is two robots and Avila can have a party. By which I mean Avila is just having a party. You're by herself. In the shed. <laughs> Genuinely, both the robots and Jerry are still hard at work. You having a good time? Attending party, relaxing socially. No, you are not. You can't be social with yourself. I mean, you can. I sit in, in a dark room and talk to myself all day. Maybe we're kindred spirits, Avila. No. <laughs> no. I was about to laugh and mock the tortoise. But this tortoise came to the colony on Jerry's day. You are a creature. You are a, you are a gift from the gods themselves. What do tortoises represent? Wiseness and longevity. A bear in mind, the animals don't age fast. It's just the people. So if the people age ten times faster and tortoises can live up to a hundred anyway, this is like an eternal tortoise. I will name you the et Tortoise. <laughs> Eternal. Tor -t Torternal? Eternois. Et Eternois sounds way better. Eternois. Oh shit, Eternois. What a dodge. What a dodge. He was mere seconds away from being scalded by the steam from the earth itself. Only seconds away. Mere minutes. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't quite uh wasn't quite a Michael Bay moment. I mean that was in tortoise years too, so that guy was That guy was decades away from being burned. That fucking ostrich has got its head in my hole. Eat my dinner, will you? You are dinner now. Oh, we can't eat anything because it's nighttime and our people worship the sun. Tet Mate, you are a melee character. If you miss the ostrich because it's dark, I'll have a lot of questions. Oh no. Thank you, at long last. Eternois, guardian of the stones. He decided to sleep right next to Tech Mate. Reptiles together strong. I mean, he is wearing the crocodile after all. all right, let, I'm getting distracted here. Let's go back to Jerry's bed. So for the tanning rack, we need uh, some sort of tanning liquor. And that we need to build out of the cooking table, if I remember correctly. We might have to save a little bit of limestone there, Tech Mate. Yeah, Jerry is sat on the horseshoes pin. I want to say sat on the horseshoes pin. I'm not sure quite how, quite how the mechanics of that works. Perhaps it is a test. The Pharaoh is testing... Young Braytac. The blessed horseshoes pin touched by Jerry himself. Touched more than anything else has been. Okay, look, we're not going to make everything an artifact, okay? We're going to make every turtle, every meteor, and every horseshoes pin an artifact. But this is, the, this is the founder of the base. This is how it works. Everything they do is going to be holy and sacred. And then all the other pharaohs are going to get probably killed by their own people. We, we seem to have lost the ability to grow wheat overnight. And I'm not entirely sure why. We haven't lost any... We have seeds? We still have wheat seeds. Weird. Jer Jerry just kind of forgot about the wheat. <laughs> Not entirely sure how that's happened. We've got to sweat it too much if we if we can't grow crops. We haven't got to worry about agriculture and farming when we have the river denial right here. All the wheat, all the food we could ever need is is right there, naturally occurring. Not only that, when we get more people, we can set up dedicated fishers because we can we can fish out of the river. I don't know what we get. Uh, eels, trout, koi, freshwater stingray. Whoa, there it is. Oh, Jerry. Oh, but obelisks, though. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a very hard choice from the perspective of ancient Egypt. But it's a very easy choice from the perspective of very, very hungry Jerry. Agriculture is not a big deal for now. The denial can provide everything we need if we get hungry. We just go and pick some crops from there. But that's nice to have in the future. Wood-fired crematorium. 
Tallow. Oh, cool. Oh, primitive storage. I mean, I've got to take... Uh, I really would like tree sowing, though. Grow some cactuses. Reroll. Pottery. Meat drying. Meat drying could be good. Let's go for... Let's go for pottery. It's a cheap research. It's an easy one. And we do need some art. Albina. Welcome. We've got Avila and Albina. Next up, we'll recruit Bavila and Balbina. And then we'll get Savila. <laughs> Sorry, that's the stupidest thing I've ever said, and that's saying a lot. I'm just I'm just admiring the bridge. I didn't think I'm going to take out the middle section. That was the first thing we ever built. That was the first big structure that this base ever had. We're going to leave it. That's going to stand the test of time. In 100 years, Jerry's descendants will look upon this, and they will say, wow, this part of the bridge looks like shit, but it was the first thing we ever built. Large monster. Hello. A wild dodagamma. Where? Oh, hello there. Oh, you've got a friend. A Zinoga? <laughs> that thing looks ridiculous. It looks like a big parrot. I was about to say, oh. Brightek and Mate joked about suppression. Oh, God. Oh, my God, that's a real Discord moment, Brightek. I was about to say, now that we finish the bridge, we can start saving up limestone blocks to build Jerry his mansion. I, I mean, you could argue we should build houses for the recruits, but they didn't have to worry about it. They can sleep in the desert. These are blessed sands. You will get nothing and like it, Albina. In fact, what can we get you to do? You've really got nothing here. Um... Wow, there really is nothing for you to do then. I guess quarrying all day. You can't argue that an ancient Egyptian themed colony mining an ungodly amount of limestone is exceptionally on brand. We couldn't do anything more perfect. And Jerry just finished pottery. Uh, ceramics, devil strand, meat drying. What does ceramics unlock? Kilns, ceramic basin, sand trap. A large structure to catch sand in. I don't think we have to worry about that. Call me mad, but I feel like we can probably gather sand pretty easily. Meat drying. I've got to re-roll. I have to re-roll. Primitive storage. I, I've skipped over it a couple of times. This time, we, we, we've got to go for it. Who has an extreme break risk? It's, it's Albina. Albina, my friend. Jerry will bless you. You have proven to be a leal and able servant. I mean, you've just joined us. But you will bask in the holy light of this here pharaoh. You are blessed. You are blessed, my child. And look, because you have agreed to listen to the word of Jerry, the whole colony is being gifted with donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Donkeys just covered in jerky. Mmm. Timo! Timo's massive. Timo's the one who had 15 mining double passion, right? Oh, close enough. 14.65. That's massive. Now we can really start building a city. So the real question is, do we build a grand pyramid? Or do we build some sort of grand palace or grand temple? Then the next question becomes, how the hell do you build a pyramid in Rimworld? Because it's all top down. So if we uh, take the, the, the top down of a pyramid, it's just a big square. What I was thinking, and forgive me if this is cursed, is we could build it on the... Well, obviously not like that. Holy shit, that's just terrible. But we could... <laughs> if we build it rotated by 45 degrees, it will maybe look a bit more pyramid shaped, I suppose. Even though diagonal building is kind of cursed by reward standards... Is that an eclipse? Oh, the gods have spoken. An eclipse has begun. And because they worship the sun, as it is a core part of our ideology and the worship of the gods, they are going to be very upset by that. Stars are a bad omen. Minus 20. And what else is the... Uh, that's from the uh, bad stars. Oh, the eclipse is minus 5 on top of that. Oh. Maybe the gods are upset because we're not building it fast enough. That's all I can presume. Because that's the only way I can think to make it look like a bit more of a pyramid in Rimwald. So we do the outer walls out of limestone. The slightly inner walls out of sandstone and then in front of that we'll have the valley of the kings which will be all of our greatest pharaohs on a massive walkway up to the the pyramid that they'll be buried in because again when we've actually put the roof on it and the decorations it will just be a big diamond basically and then on the other side i feel like we need a grand temple and then maybe in the middle at the top here is where we put the pharaoh's residence so that way we've got all of the fancy big opulent districts at the top here and then you can have the actual city at the bottom so those being the inner walls this is going to be so ambitious but is that not the point Ancient Egypt, I think we can argue, was fairly ambitious. Granted, they probably didn't do it with six people. <laughs> but they also didn't have robots, so I think it equals out. Let's make the inner walls out of sandstone. And the reason I say this is going to be ambitious is because then we're going to take not only limestone for the external walls, we need to make them out of fine walls. They need to be the finest, most pure limestone you've ever seen. This is genuinely going to take forever. Dare I ask, how much limestone would that take? If we go ahead and save the blueprint, that should give us a readout. Oh, God. 1,650 limestone. Oh, shit. <laughs> no! 
Stop. I made a mistake. We don't want to make that out of limestone. Not that, not that weak shit. Get that out of here. I mean, we do want to make it out of limestone. But of course, we'd not rather make it out of pristine limestone. Church has been bought back as an undead. Oh my god. Did you see that? Skeletons walk amongst us. Well, these sands must carry a curse. Where the undead, if they are not buried properly and given the respect they deserve, that they'll come back to wreak their vengeance on us. And we don't want vengeance from Pharaoh Jerry. Pristine limestone. If we do that, will it affect all of it in the area? Uh, oh, just the ones immediately adjacent. Okay. I'll be a bit more careful of that in the future. But now that we have the pristine limestone... Oh, there we go. Now we can start planning this out properly. God, this is going to take so long. We've got we to quarry the limestone chunks. We've got to cut that into blocks. We've got to convert the blocks into pristine limestone. We've then got to use that for not just regular walls, but fine walls. Primitive storage to store all my primitive things, like charged copashes and aged whiskey. Legionary armaments. Settlement, dirt road building, tallow. I, I need tree sewing. Ask oh, and you shall receive. Oh, you legend. You actual legend, Jerry King. Julia has been brought back as an undead. She's hostile. We, we've got we, we've got a revenant spirit tech. Oh, it's okay. The trade caravan's going for her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My, what happened to that giraffe? It just died. Did you see that? Wait, maybe the giraffe was already dead and that was just a particle effect of hers around it. Can we recruit the skeleton? <laughs> An undead pharaoh guard. I suppose you wouldn't want to have to worry about them dying of old age, right? Oh, this is a colony that worships the sun. And death only... Lies in darkness? What the hell happened there? <laughs> Turns out the skeletons are explosive. I mean, that's good to know. I'm glad we found that out now when it was less harm. Look at all this storage we've got. Finally, somewhere I can put all my bricks. Actually, genuinely a good idea. Now that all the bricks are in the pile, can we just hit them with a... Can we just hit them with one of those and convert the whole thing over in one go? That would be incredible. Ooh, almost all of them. Hello. Oh, well, that's not so good. <laughs> well, Wendy, we'll continue our nice chat later. What were you good at? Crafting animals. We can finally get the cavalry going. What cavalry do you want? I mean, the sensible option is, is dromedaries. That's like an actual sensible cavalry. Simultaneously, though, giraffe and hippo cavalry is just way cooler. Mega scorpion. Oh. That's not that mega. <laughs> That's just a regular sized scorpion. <gasps> Jerry started a social fight with the Vila. Okay, okay, I'll let her off. I thought if she attacked Jerry, then she deserves execution. Although, if she does any damage to him, she's pulled off the Pharaoh's toe. Avila has, has destroyed the Pharaoh's holy toe. What do we do with her? Okay, she stood down. Jerry, what's your opinion of Avila? Should we execute her? Um, minus 69. <laughs> oh! Avila was badly injured in battle. I admire her courage. He actually, he's actually impressed by it. You know what? You get to live another day, Avila. If she started the social fight with Jerry, though, I would have executed her. But I'll be a little more flexible because we're only just starting things. <gasps> you dare. Albina, lay down your life. Mate, get in there. Stop tending the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh can wait. He's happy to let you go and save the Eternoise. Albina is down. Don't you do it. Mighty Eternoise. <laughs> The Eternoise killed it. Oh, you all saw that, didn't you? The Eternoise killed the Corpi- <laughs> The Eternoise killed the Corpion. Exactly that. So powerful. So powerful. Look, the, the Tortoise bit it right in the heart. Incredible play. Even Albina couldn't stand up to that. Oh, God. She's still affected by true happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says true happiness like being absolutely savaged by a Scorpion. New lovers! Is this the start of the Empire? It's the bright second of Vila. For God's sake, stop falling in love with the robots. What the? Hello? We could tame you as the pair, the, the, the Pero's pet. Wow, what's happened to me? I've got, I've gone desert mad. Dodo gummers may attack upon failed tame and chance 50%. That is a risk that the Pharaoh is willing for Wendy to take. Your Pharaoh brings you tree. <laughs> Well, cactuses. Uh, cactuses, I suppose. I mean, bronze working is kind of a massive deal when you are a, uh, effectively a Stone Age people. That's that's quite a big breakthrough. We've got the crafting bench. Got any simple things like clubs or bows. Oh, we've got obelisks. I mean, look. You know I've got to do it. Oh, we could reroll. Ah, 
No, give me the obelisks. The pharaoh has expressed his repeated displeasure at the lack of art in this bloody place. Minus 10, in fact. Wait, whoa, 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 before you before you convert her. Let's go for the word of trust. We might as well get it all done in a single swoop. There you go. And now if he carries on, she should just join us immediately, right? Come on. Low. Low and behold. I'm sorry, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> ah, at least we've recruited, I was going to say two good doctors. Uh, we've got a, a good doctor in progress. I think we'll stick with Wendy, the, uh, the the medical skill of five. And then how about... Oh, no, not more new lovers, for God's sake. How about a little more cooking? Now for the dreaded news. It is Timo and Lo. Our first actual human lovers. No pressure, Timo and Lo, but the, the world is on your shoulders at this point. We've got a lot of colonists to start to replace. How old is Jerry? 38 and 23 days. Ooh, mosaics. Ooh, temperature control could be good, though. Oh, man. Um, below freezing without needing electricity or hot stones, a primitive heater as well. Um, I mean, salt preservation would be incredible, but mosaics for the house of Jerry is a hard choice. I think temperature control could be really, really helpful, especially if we get a heat wave. The pyramid's coming along nicely. This is meant to be a massive construct. It wasn't supposed to just be something we threw together quickly. I expect this to take a very, very long time still, but there is something we can build, something fairly impressive that will keep our people happy for a while. So we can build megaliths, which, sure, aren't as impressive as, you know, like a fine pristine pyramid. It's just more of a test bed, you know? It's to prove to our people that we can build these big, crazy structures. 2,000 work. Wow, even for someone as skilled as Tech Mate, this is going to take ages. What is your construction skill? 20.78. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised. Probably a little overdue, but let's throw down the cooking table at long last. And I think I'll throw down a workbench too, just in case that's what we need to make the, the tanning rack fuel. I'm like 99% sure it comes from a cooking table, but I, I, I feel like if I don't build someone a bed at some stage, everybody's going to rebel. Three, four extreme break risk. Oh, shit. Um, Jerry, are you one of them? Okay, Jerry comes first. I mean, brainwashing yourself is, uh, is absolutely big dick energy from Jerry. He's starting to believe his own lie at this point. He is great. Of course he I I am great. I deserve good things. It's the YouTuber strategy. Oh, God have mercy. Braytech and Albina, stop falling in love with the bloody robots. I, I mean, I know they're impressive. God damn, they are impressive. So long and metal. <laughs> People are sick in the head. You don't know what they look like under that sexy, sexy eagle mask. <laughs> colony's doomed. This colony's doomed. They're more interested in the robots than one another. We've got Jerry on a pure meditation schedule so that he can keep all the moods high. He's Pharaoh. I feel like that's the most appropriate thing to do. Why don't we flip Albina over to the researcher, given that she's she's okay at that intellectual six. She's no Jerry, but she's pretty good. And then Jerry being the Pharaoh comes in and blesses them with his with his mighty presence. Uh, Albina, you know what? Given that you're taking over for Jerry, you can get the first blast. Be blessed. The Pharaoh sees you. Uh, and in fact, because he's meditated so much, we can do it again. You, Timo, be blessed. The Pharaoh blesses you. They don't know it's all Psy powers. They have no they're none the wiser. They just think it's magic. <laughs> Never gets old watching Braytech chase camels around the desert. Oh, they finished the megalith. I didn't get a chance to see it because I was too busy watching the fucking circus over here. Limestone megalith by Tech Mate. Title is Jerry's Tune. On this piece is an illustration of Jerry King welcoming Albina Ball as she becomes a colonist with obvious goodwill. Albina is nodding in understanding. The surreal... Excuse me, I'm trying to read. The surrealist style of the central scene clashes with the modern depiction of the background. The image is... Break tech. Are you done? Yeah, whatever, you get the point. 1500 beauty though, that's massive. Does that fulfill both the megalith and the art need, I wonder? Desiring megalith... We should build more of them. We're disrespecting our ancestors, we should build more megaliths. Is one not enough? I mean, they're relatively cheap to build in the grand scheme of things, given that we've got nothing else to do besides mine limestone from the quarry, but I don't really want to build too many. Can we reinstall them at least? Oh, we can. Okay, that's good. Jerry is hit with a word of trust, and that should be one empty prison. What a colony we've got started. Animal migration mega scarabs. Oh, cool. Hello. Because, of course... Of course, this is denial. There has to be mega scarabs here. The scarabs are going to cross the limestone bridge. Whoa. 
What a migration. What a fantastic metaphor. Ooh, and right on cue, what a fantastic gift. You prick. <laughs> You absolute dickhead. <clears throat> what a fantastic gift. The outside of the pyramid is finished. The first layer of the Great Pyramid of Jeriza. Jeza? Name pending. But what a fantastic day for the Pharaoh, though. Megaliths, research, an actual cooking bench, and the start of a fantastic pyramid. Ooh, and how can I forget the bridge over denial? The, the river denial. Stupid name. I will admit, I do feel like we're going about the slightly ass backwards, given that we've built the start of a giant pyramid and a giant bridge, but no houses for anybody. And we don't even have a bed for Jerry quite yet. So maybe tomorrow, now that the people have proven how dedicated they are to Jerry, they've been sleeping in the sand on behalf of their pharaoh and working in the mines non-stop with, with poor meals and no pay. They've, they've proven themselves worthy. So we will build them some beds and maybe, if they're lucky, even a house. Well, let's not go that far. Maybe a house. Maybe just a shed in the desert. Thank you to my favorite shed-dwelling peasants, the executive producer patrons. Thank you to Jacob Forward, Chris, Dalzorg, Amethyst, Gemstone, Super Awesome, Goku, Matman, Camlion, Antolino, Semidiot Guy, or Kansas, Alex Monk, Lord Gator, Glyph, Zetlock, Little Bicky, Terry Dactyl, Incredible Gurren, Kieran, Duffy, Lauren, Jane, and Sysoray for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for making this experience possible and all the other experiences that happen across my many channels here on YouTube. Experience is about the only way I can describe them. Thank you to Daniel Price, Ahmad Zaki, Noah Velasco, Ligma Morbs. Thank you, fucking hell. Zach the Ripper, Gavin, Remy Remy, a good chunk of Balsa, Jordan 15J, Yolgi, Bobby, Lieutenant Smokin, Intergalactic Man of Mystery, Fat Larry, Dorian, Ai Dumar, Faust B. Vibin, and Zorastria. Thank you. Thank you for Jerry, and thank you for being here.